Hey girl, welcome back to the channel. We're going to get into a cute little reading with Miss Ashanti Shequoia Douglas. Did y'all know that was her middle name? Shequoia? I, I, I'm sure I'm not saying it right, but I was, that was my first time seeing it. I'm used to seeing Ashanti and I think I knew her name was Douglas, but Shequoia? It's like, okay, sis. But Ashanti, welcome her to the show. Hey, Shanti. Oh, girl, you, you vibrant today. Hair is pretty, okay? But her hair always pretty. That's nothing new. Now, we're going to jump into a quick reading with her, and we're going to find out, is she really pregnant? Because y'all know y'all be all up in the, girl, in the girl's wombs, honey. <laughs> Maybe me too. But okay, so, you know, because I don't know, for some reason, even in real life, I can sense when somebody is pregnant. That's just a gift. That's some things that some women can do. I mean, I think all women probably can do it if they pay attention. But I've definitely been doing it when it comes to these celebrities. But, you know, that's not a big deal. You over there doing the doing the uchi coochie la 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 i mean a baby could possibly come but before we get into mr shanti's reading we're going to do some house announcements real fast now i noticed that my subscriber count is just a growing and getting on up there thank you guys so much for subscribing to the channel i really appreciate you guys and i was like why don't i have a name for my subscribers it's like i need something okay and y'all know i'll be changing my mind all the time i'm gonna change my my channel name a couple of times in itself so this may change but over the weekend my family and i i was telling my family you know help me come up with a name for my for my subscribers and so we girl we done went up and down the dictionary the google streets our minds our hearts our souls girl we done went all the way up and down and we done came up with some funny names some silly names it's like okay that's a ridiculous name but what we finally decided what i finally decided on within the last 24 or 48 hours is dun -dun -dun, lucky charms okay i feel like you guys are my lucky charms okay lucky charm you, if you google that is um you know about good fortune um and then i feel like you guys are so charming and it's just like i i used to always love wearing a charm bracelet you know with all my favorite little pimp uh, pendants on it so i just feel like you guys are my lucky charms okay so right now that's what i'm gonna stick to but i had other options with fortune cookie and uh, I think starlights and so lucky charm just sound right to me so you guys let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments oh no the comment section speaking of the comment section the comment section is off that's house rule number number two okay yes I turned off the comment section for I don't know how long okay it could be a temporary thing it can be a permanent thing because I just feel like in 2024 number one I don't do any toxic anything in my life i haven't dealt with anything toxic in my life in the last five years okay i don't even put toxic stuff in my body so i'm definitely not going to deal with it but the straw that took the camp that broke the camel back with the comment section is you remember you guys a couple of days ago a few days ago i did a reading on the hbcu um alumni who was getting bullied at work by her by the president and they asked him to resign because of what he was doing to her and the fact that you know that caused her to you know unalive herself because of the bullying and the mental anguish that she was dealing with that she couldn't take it no more so the comment sections on my whole video was good they was fine you know everybody was very supportive and understanding because i feel like those are my subscribers you, you guys are so understanding you're such good people but when i turned it to a short like a 15 second to 50 second short the those people over there are now I mean, nothing wrong with the shorts, but I do like making my stuff into shorts because they do get other eyes on me. But those people were ruthless over there. They were just coming at the lady all hard. They was being just so disrespectful. They had no no regards to life, to emotions, to mental health, to anything. They didn't even know the whole story. They only got a couple of seconds of the story. And they were just saying stuff like, I don't believe her. Um did she got evidence uh why did you say brown woman why did you why you mention color why you this why you that why 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 oh it was so annoying girl it was so annoying i couldn't even take it but then when i they were just going on going on going on i, I was called this i was called that uh it ain't just um uh, this particular person that does it it's all people do it black people do it this I, I, okay okay i get it i get it i get it but this is about this lady and this situation and but i understand everybody else you know have their opinion but then when i told them that they was like when i put in the comment section that she unalived herself it was not like okay 
I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, you know, I, I never thought it would go that far. They wasn't like that. It was almost like once they heard that, it was like, okay, mission accomplished, goal accomplished. It's like that was the goal. It's like once they found out that that's the result of this story, it's like they, it was almost like they was kind of happy with it. And that to me is just is sick. And that just let me know that the world is full of sick people, uh, evil people, people that have no empathy for other regards to human life, but yet somebody else. And so it's just like, no, okay, I can take a comment. I can take a comment. And I mean, y'all probably have seen, I came back in the comment section hard. Sometimes I come, you know, most of the time, I, you know, I feel like if you come in in a sweet way, I'm going to come back in a sweet way. But even then, sometimes you can misinterpret a comment. So, so I can take it and, and I can, but it's like, why do I have to take it? That's just like saying, that's just like saying you in a relationship that's toxic, but for the first couple of years, the relationship was good. But then all of a sudden after blue, your partner started abusing you in some type of way, whether it's blacking your eye or verbally abusing you or, you know, em emotionally abusing you. It, it, just because you had so many great years with this person, do you just let this one time go? Some people do. Okay, until it happened again in six months, until it happened again in three months, and then now you, now it's a regular thing. And it's like, and, and just because that person come back and apologize by you, Birkin, and, and do this and do that, just to go back the next time for it to be even worse than the first three times, it's almost like a toxic relationship. It's like at some point, you got to stop lying to your family and stop lying to yourself, and you got to let this person go because it's not getting better, okay? You probably can't go back and get those best three years back again it's like those those are gone gone now it's like you can how can you remember the good times when you're sitting up with a, with a black eye right now so I, I just feel like you know the comment section can be toxic i don't deal with nothing toxic in my life okay i don't even want to walk through your your cloud of smoke outside okay because if i don't smoke you shouldn't be smoking around me and i shouldn't be around it so I'm going to turn the comments section off for a minute. Okay. I don't, it'd probably be permanently because the, I, I turned it off for the last 24 hours and it's been the best, best 24 hours of my life. Okay. And besides, okay, is I see a lot of videos coming across my timeline of people quitting YouTube and I can kind of understand why. Okay. I really can because why do you have to be subject to abuse just because people say it come with the job? It does not come with the job, okay? And I know there's nothing that I'm saying so bad in my reasons that that should deserve anything like that. And I don't feel like nobody else is saying nothing so bad. But then you have some people that's really toxic on YouTube. And they come in sections and be full of people that cheering them on. And it's like, really? Okay, so, yeah, the world is a little backwards right now. The Matrix is a little backwards. And the way that the Matrix wins is to keep you in a fearful confused and a low vib low vibrational state and I refuse to be in that because my vibration is very high and to be honest with you YouTube is only fun when it's fun okay it, and it's really when it comes to profit I, I don't really do if it don't make dollars it don't make sense to me so usually I don't do nothing that don't make me money and YouTube does make me a little money but honey Everything else I do in my life makes me way more money than I make on YouTube, okay? I, I make more money in my sleep than I do on YouTube. So, yeah. So, the comment section is going to be off for a minute now because, like I say, if I'm going to keep on doing it because all I'm doing is over here offering free entertainment. And, baby, if my free entertainment ain't going to be appreciated, then, honey, I would leave, baby. I don't even need to be here, okay? So, and, and, and besides, if, if you're not going to have empathy for the people I'm reading for, especially when I'm reading on a story like that, I, I just, I, yeah, I don't want you nowhere near me, especially not in my comment section. Now, like I said, my lucky charms, my subscribers, this don't go to you guys because I know you guys are such, you guys are so charming. You guys really y'all spend hours and hours conversating and having a good time in in the comment section y'all have healthy debates sometimes y'all make a lot of friendships and i feel sad that the comment section had to go because it'll kind of put it into some of that but don't worry i'm over here trying to figure out ways that i could you know have a space for the people that really want to have conversation and debate um, i'm still trying to work on that so y'all give me a minute on that i wish youtube had it that we can turn the comment section off to everybody else only to subscribers but they don't have that function right now so we just have to do what we got to do right now so until until then until further notice it's going to be off because like i said if you can't appreciate 
the free content I'm putting over here and you can't appreciate and value the people that I read on, then yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it. Okay. For now. For now. But let's go ahead and get into this reading for Ashanti real fast, real quick. We're just gonna ask these cards real fast. Ashanti, are you pregnant for real, girl? Because the people want to know because you still know that you're looking thick with it, but you always have been looking thick with it in a good way. And I don't see no stomach, though. I don't see no bulging. And I don't see. And some people don't show a lot. OK, but I just I'm not picking up that pregnancy vibe from her. But let's see what these cards have to say. I could be wrong. OK, and you know me, girl, I'll pull up an old picture in a minute. But Ashanti always keeps some fresh pictures out there. So it's hard for me to see old pictures of her because she always looking fly. Like Ashanti, where are you going, girl? Where are you about to go? Okay, where you just came from. But let's go ahead and get into it. Divine Angels, give me the best cards from this deck to describe. Is Miss Ashanti Shaquala Douglas really pregnant? Okay. She was born October the, the October the 13th, 1980, I think. So let's see, girl. Let's see what these cards have to say. Is Ashanti pregnant by Nelly? Okay, so we got three cards here. Let's see what they say, girl. The girl, let's see what these cards have to say, sweetheart. The first card we got. Oh, okay. We got a little child. It's, it seems like there's a child in there. Okay, we got the little black little girl card came out. Oh, she's so pretty. So we got a child. So it, it looks like, girl, she is at, she's with child. Congratulations, Ashanti. Oh, you want a little girl or a little boy? Because I don't have a little boy card. All I have is little girl cards. But this is like a pretty little girl with long, pretty hair. So she's going to come out with a head full of hair, girl. So you might have some heartburns. Okay, so watch out for that, Shanti. But it seems like, yeah, we got the child card here. Oh, that's so cute. We, had, we got the cross here. Okay. Um, it speaks about divination, spirituality, the yin and the yang. So it seems like her and Nelly is still together. The yin and the yang card. Okay, I, you know, with the cross here, like they receiving blessings, like the baby is a blessing to them. But the lady, look at the Shanti, that's a Shanti right there all day. Not the Shanti card coming out. So it seemed like, yes, a Shanti is caring child, y'all. That is so cute. Congratulations, Ashanti. I guess, girl, because some of the people saying that you ain't married, girl. So they saying that, you know, are you really happy over there? But... Since we got her here, let's go ahead and pull and see what's the relationship like for her and uh, her, and her um, significant other, Nelly. They've been over there laying low, at least for me. I don't know. I haven't been, I don't Google their name or do nothing like that. And they don't, if they're not trending, then I don't see what's going on, girl. I'm not one of those type of people. I only see what's trending and then unless I have them on the docket to research, I mean, to kind of do a reading on them, then... And have to pull up the pictures then. Usually when you pull up their pictures, the latest information will come out about them right then and there. And so I haven't done that lately. So I don't know. But let's go ahead and just see what's the energy around Ashanti and Anelle. What do we need to know? Okay, well, this card just insisting on coming out. We got the sunglasses. So, okay, we watching, focusing out. But we ain't going to take it. Let's go. What we got for Ashanti and Nelly? What's the status? What's going on with you and your boy? Okay, so we got, right now, we got the self-indulging. So she probably over there eating pickles and ice cream, girl. She probably over there, um, you know, making sure she stay healthy and healing. And, you know, making sure she, they said doing shadow work. And she healing over there. So maybe she's, girl, because sometimes your first pregnancy be, it, some people have great pregnancies. But then most of the time, honey, those hormones get into your body. And you start craving. I know with my first one, honey, I had all type of, like like smells like stuff that used to smell so good to me did not smell good when I was pregnant with my first son my first child so I don't know if she's going through something like that but it seems like she's focusing on herself making sure that she stay good we got the love call okay so love is still in the air love is still calling you know there's a message of love between her and Nelly right now we got the palm tree with stability and security so it seems like he's being protective okay and they're being very flexible but then we got the runner here. We got a runner here. Somebody's listening to their ego a little bit. Okay. So let's see where he running to. Oh, we got somebody looking at the other woman. Competition, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder. Okay. Because there's another woman here. Okay. What is she up to? 
We got paradise, happiness, expansion, joy. Okay, enjoying each other. I don't know if this other woman is, is he enjoying the other woman? And then here go the sunglasses back out here. Somebody watching and stalking and focusing out. So it seemed like a shanti at home, you know, caring life. Okay, supporting life, creating life. And we may have ego, you know, some ego issues over here with Nelly. Now, it could be with another woman now. It speaks about competition. Is he over there talking to Chantel? Okay, is he taking vacation with Chantel? And, and Ashanti over there watching, that's going to stress her out, Nelly. So let's find out, okay. What is the energy around Nelly when it comes to Ashanti and her pregnancy? Let's see what these tarot have to confirm. Because he could be over there just talking to her and it could not be a big deal. But at the same time, what y'all talking about? Okay, Ashanti watching too. She want to know what are y'all talking about? What's the energy around Shanti when it comes to... I'm sorry, what's the energy around Nelly when it comes to Ashanti's pregnancy? Okay, all right. So, it may not be a big deal, y'all, okay? We got the King of Pentacles. He's just out there working, okay? Shanti probably just in her feelings, her hormones, probably doing team too much, and he does that. So, he out here getting his pentacles, y'all. The King of Pentacles. He getting his money. Okay, we got the six of ones. Now, he do got people around him, maybe females around him. But, you know, that comes with the territory. Shanti knows this. But we got that two of cups situation, okay? We got, when it comes to Shanti, this is his soulmate. That's somebody that they see in eye to eye. At least in his mind, they see in eye to eye. Because the two of cups is one of the best cards you can get when I'm talking about a, a relationship. So, we got this two of cup energy here, that soulmate energy. That um, equally giving each other love and affection properly. One person is more stable. One person is in their emotions. But at the same time, they're balancing out. Okay. They're seeing their way to each other with the lighthouse. Okay. The divine is looking over both of them. That's why that cross is here. So, yeah. I, I see good. But I got that knight of wands, honey. He may be acting like or out there, you know, flirting. He probably be out there flirting, girl. With that wand energy. But that's what he do. He always smiling. She's like, what you kicking about? He was like, well, what? I'm just, you know, I always smile. And he do. He wanted them smiling dudes. He wanted them pretty dudes. Okay. They always want smiling and, and always giving somebody a hug. So he probably out there just doing that for the most part. He making his money and he want victory with Ashanti. He want a family with Ashanti, it seems like, with this six of ones energy. And it seems like there's support around them. There's support of people that are supporting this relationship. And then with this two of cups, they see it eye to eye. Everything is good. Okay. He probably out there doing a little extra flirting out there. Okay. He's showing out a little bit. Trying to see if he still got it. They could be a knowing girl. They're just a man for you. Now what's the energy around Ashanti when it comes to Nelly? Okay. Yeah, sister girl. Right here we got the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, now with the Ace of Pentacles, it's like she's trying to manifest something. She's probably trying to push him to go ahead and give her a ring if she don't already got it. Somebody in the comment section already said she got a ring. But it's like, what kind of ring is it? Okay, is it a Taylor Swift ring? That big old opal ring that she had on? Is it What kind of ring is it? But it's like she's trying to manifest something, a material gain, some type of something immaterial. She's trying to manifest it here. And it's like some type of offer. She want an offer to be made here with that's materialistic. She wants something to materialize into real life here. But but then we got this Eight of Swords right here feeling bound and gag and she's not quite speaking about it. She probably be hinting for something, but she ain't quite telling him exactly what she want. At the same time, she blinded to what's going on. She got the blinders on. Okay, followed by the moon energy. So there's some cycles or something, or secrets or something, or something that she probably feel like happening at night because she probably can't hang with him that much and she especially if she's sick because of the the baby or you know hormones all over the place <sighs> it's like what it's like she don't know what's going on she don't know what's going on and she want him to it's like give something to her he want she wants something to be given to her okay and it's like with this right here it's almost like she can't see exactly what's going on with them, but it's like you can kind of remove yourself out of this energy, okay? You but 
again, she, this it's like she feel feeling like she left out in the dark about something, and it's like cycles of this. She probably think that he's still out there doing something he ain't got no business doing. So let's go. We gotta find out why. What's going on with this Eight of Swords and Moon energy for Ashanti? Why do you feel this way about Nelly? And then we're gonna move on. We're gonna get out y'all business. Girl, that's a lot of Shanti. Just because I said I'm, I'm going to move on, I mean you have to put a lot of cards out there. So we got talking. So again, he out there just talking to somebody and she probably thinks that's a big deal. I don't know, somebody come back and report it to her. Girl, Nelly's out there talking to so-and-so, so-and-so. But it's like interesting, conversing, okay, awaiting a message. He probably didn't return her calls in a proper time. But it says, I like you. Okay, she feel like, again, flirting. Okay, some flirting going on again. There's some date, some flirting going on, but it's like they like each other, and she chasing him. He running, she ch he ch she chasing. He's the runner, she's the chaser, and she very codependent in this relationship. But that's to be expected if she's pregnant, if she's carrying a child like this car is saying. Yeah, you gonna be more codependent. You want to color with him. It's like why you gotta leave, but he like he gotta work. We got girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. Okay, so I don't know if she needs to talk to her girls or what about it. And maybe I don't know what they saying over there, but there's some type of addiction. It's just very codependent in this relationship. Has some type of strength and kind of maybe kind of controlling. Okay, she's probably more controlling over him than before. But we got abundance here. Keep a positive mindset, Ashanti. Okay, those hormones are getting the best of you, which I mean, you can't help that girl. You can't help it. We got the Phoenix here. It's going to be a new phase and a rekindling. So, it's okay, I guess, girl. I guess he's going to come home with a bouquet of flowers and everything going to be okay. But then we got the mask here. You're not showing your true self, Ashanti. You're pretending everything is okay. I think she probably wants that ring more than ever. But we got lightning here. A sudden, a sudden change, shocking news. Okay, so I see her on the phone talking a lot to girls. Okay, probably hearing more of what's going on in the streets because she probably can't be there with him as much as she would want to. Especially if you're pregnant. You can't be in a smoky club. You can't be, you know, you ain't out there drinking. If you got any kind of sickness, sometimes the sickness don't just hit in the morning. They hit at night too. And so you just can't be out there. Just don't got the energy to go out there. But I see a lot of abundance here. I see that he equally likes you, Ashanti, on his part. Yeah, he out there flirting a little bit. But girl, don't be that insecure, Okay. Flirting is not a big deal now, unless he just out there. Oh, baby, you, baby, that I like the, baby, I like the way you look in this. Baby, you look good in that. Baby, baby, turn around, let me see. No, if he give a woman, okay, a compliment, that's not a big deal. If he hold the door for somebody else, that's just being a gentleman. I don't. That's not a big deal, okay. And she, but she's kind of hiding her emotions. She's not really putting out there exactly what she wants. I don't know. If she feel like she don't want to be pushy or or anything like that. But it's like speak your mind, honey. Okay, if he can put a baby in you, you can speak your mind. Okay, make sure you do that. And because it seems like you're being more codependent, and I don't want you to run this man off being too clingy. But you got the right to want to hug up on him and cuddle up on him because you're nesting right now. And I get that. But I see abundance here. It's like he out there working. Okay, it seems like y'all going to rekindle something and get it back right. But again, you're not showing your true feelings. Go ahead and tell them what you really want. Okay, I know you you probably be afraid of what the answer going to be. Or he already probably going to hint to what the answer going to be. But then we got a lightning going to happen here. Shocking news. Epiphanies. That's going to be some type of transformation. Okay, we're going to leave it right there, girl. Because we ain't going to dig too much in these people' emotional situation. Because like right now, she's just too emotional. Because sister girl is over there with child. But for the most part... Nelly's in the middle of it all and he happy about it. He happy about the child that's with Ashanti. And she happy about it. It's something she always prayed about and it's happening. Okay, the cards just confirmed it. Those are three cards that came out and we're going to stick with that. And when I asked Nelly how he feel about Ashanti, the two of cups came out. And that's and that's really all that we can ask to see. He really do care about her. He have great feelings for her. He this he love her. He love her right here. And the car said that they like each other equally. Now, like I said, they're not communicating well. I don't think they're doing that for sure. And I seen, and it seemed like she, he could possibly be giving out this runner energy because she's giving out this chaser energy. And it's like, y'all don't have to run and chase after each other. Y'all the yin and the yang. Just communicate, okay? Don't push him away. And Nelly, don't run away from a situation, okay? If she's carrying your child... Sit down and have a talk with her, okay? Communicate with her. Ask her how she's feeling. Ask her anything she needs, okay? She don't, she don't just need pickles and ice cream. So that's going to be the reading for Ashanti. And is she pregnant? And we got our answer. Hope you enjoyed the reading. Catch me on the next one. Bye.